Hi there everyone, my name is Chris, welcome back. Today's video I wanted to take a quick look at a custom plate carrier uh, I had arrived quite recently. I'd shown this in my last video unboxing, so I wanted to take a look at it in a little bit more detail and just show what the uh, thinking behind it was, how I um, have had it constructed, how I've made this whole thing and uh, why it's been done the way it has. Uh, so to start off on the front, rather than go with a PALS front, like a more traditional plate carrier, what I've gone with is a, a modular setup. It's basically inspired by the LBX Armatus, but the Velocity Systems lightweight plate carrier, uh, and some influence from the Mayflower sole plate carrier. What it is, rather than having power webbing all on the front and then you attach the pouches, you have an inbuilt admin. Idea is a lot of people pretty much put an admin on here as a standard. So if you're going to do that, you might as well just have it sewn on to the carrier. Uh, just a simple zip, got some internal stash dividers and then velcro loop on the front. The actual zip I'll probably change for uh, like the ITW little rubber zip pulls that you can get or something that's less noisy than the rattling uh, metal zip pull. So you can just store your little keys and pens and maps and lights and stuff in there. And then the modular panel on the sort of abdomen area is pretty much the key feature. I idea being that rather than having to have different plate carriers all set up for your different tasks or having to constantly swap PALS pouches. You just have this panel, uh, you can get, you'd be able to get different ones. There's already a few av available from Mayflower and Velocity that will fit. The LBX ones aren't compatible between the Mayflower and Velocity clips. There's like two camps, they, did, they use different clips here on the rig. In this instance, I went with the Mayflower spec. Uh, so all you've got to do is unclip these two buckles and then the whole panel rips off in about two seconds. So you can have ones just with PALS on and you can set up like taco pouches on it or whatever sort of aftermarket pouch you want. Or you can go with one of the pre-configured sort of setup panels on the market or a Hay Strategic D3 chest rig you can mount on here uh, if you add some swift lips to the side. So a wide range of options and you can just very, very quickly switch between your loadout. So say you want just three magazines or six magazines on the front area um, for some sort of training, you could have that on one panel, then you just have another panel set aside and it would maybe have a radio, a med kit, and one mag or two magazines or like one of those double decker tacos, something like that. You can have that set up. Or for example, say you wanted, you know, what I'll probably do is put tacos on these, which means I can put AR, AK, and uh, some 62 or 308 mags type mags onto here. Um, but if you wanted different panels that were, you know, say you, you could have one that had built in um, pouches and then you could put STAC Kydex inserts or various other different things all built in, like just dedicated to being 556 panel, you could have something like that, and then one that was just for AKs. You know, there's, there's a wide variety of options. So the shoulder straps on this rig. Uh, something that says to my specific specification, it's made by Dead Coyote Tactical Nylon, you can look them up on Facebook. Um, his normal shoulder straps are a bit different to these. I went with one that, ha that can change angle depending on the actual um, shoulder width of a person. And then it's just a two inch webbing shoulder strap with some space mesh on the underside, so that should be quite comfortable. On the rear, just piles webbing. Um, this is a free B for mounting your hydration carriers and potentially further down the line, you know, I'll probably get more iterations of this made up potentially. Um, probably have a panel that just has a built-in hydro pouch on the back of it because if that's all you're going to put on there anyway, you might as well save some bulk and weight by just having it built in. So it, it, it depends what you're doing. You know, some people have different ways they set these things up, but if you're going to pretty much just have one certain setup, quite simple, you know, just don't like the chest admin and a hydro on the back, then it makes more sense to cut a bit of weight. And it may seem a bit of a step backwards to some people going back to the sort of old school vest era, but I think it does have its plus points depending on your situation and your personal preferences. So we've got a power web, we've got a pass through channel um, LBT 6094 style, um, or same style as the first beer line of plate carriers and then I have fitted as you see a first bit upgrade cummerbund rather than going with a standard PALS cummerbund. What this means is you have modular 
capability on the front for switching out your main sort of ammunition carrying or equipment carrying on the abdomen area. And then if you're doing what I do, you basically have like certain, you know, like a radio pouch back here, maybe a med kit or something, or um, just some GP pouches on the side that are always the same, always carry the same kit, and you just want to swap that, that main load carrying on the front, you swap your panel. Cumber one stays the same, back stays the same. Uh, and obviously with the 612 rig, you've got your tubes, it's that easy to get in and out on the carrier. Great upgrade, um, really easy to install. Works great with this system. As you can see, all you got to do the first time you set it up, just put in these Velcro panels that are attached to the first bit of cummerbund. Velcro those down, and then the panel holds them on, and they'll stay in there every time you change the panel. And then while you're actually wearing the rig, getting it on and off is as easy as that. Uh, tubes work great. 612 system on the side, nice and lightweight, low profile. The First bit of cummerbund itself, got plenty of uh, padding, spacing mesh on the inside. It's got pontoons to give plenty of airflow um, using enclosed cell foam. And then on the inside of this particular rig itself, we've got more spacer mesh. Um, we've got some little pontoons bit here. This is like the first version one, so it's just it's just thin spacer mesh um, with some extra layers to give a bit more airflow in a, in a pontoon type fashion. And probably add some enclosed pockets for foam to create that more of an air gap down the centre, but that'll be for a later revision, this is just sort of the Gen 1. Um, so yeah, there we have it guys, uh, that covers everything. Um, to my mind, this was just happened to be the ideal plate carrier setup, there's obviously a lot of different options, but to me I think this one makes the most sense, there wasn't anyone making anything on the market quite like this. You've got the Mayflower APC, it's probably the closest, but it's got no internal space mesh. And the actual abdomen panel is only has um, strips of Velcro, so it's not quite as secure. And I'm not sure whether it'd be compatible with the first beer cummerbund in the tubes. And having the tubes, you know, as I've demonstrated with the uh, how fast they are to get on and off, that to me is a really key feature. Once you've used like a strand hog um, or any of the other first beer carriers, you pretty much it kind of spoils you having these. So yeah, um, being able to combine all those different features. Uh, to me, like I say, made the most sense. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If anyone has any questions, feel free to check out the Facebook page down below. You can just post up on there. I always get to those. Uh, any comments, all that sort of stuff, feel free to leave them. Um, again, with any questions. Uh, like I say, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff down in the description box. Cheers for all the thumbs up and the shares and that, guys. I'll see you next time.